As a taxi driver, this was before Uber reached Springfield, Missouri. Uh, as a taxi driver, I would pick up the truck drivers and take them to wherever they want to enjoy themselves. And during the ride, they would explain their job. And then they'll they tell me the money, right? And I'm thinking to myself while I'm driving them, well, I do 12 hour shifts. These guys sound like they do 12 hour shifts. And they're making how much? There's so many jobs asking to be a truck driver. I've already listened to the truckers I've been driving. I'm gonna give this a chance. I'm gonna go to the driving school in St. Louis and I did the driving school. I'm a sacrifice. I've been over the road trucking since 2018. <laughs> I grew up a Manny Pacquiao fan. And Manny Pacquiao fought Floyd Mayweather and I watched that fight and he lost to Mayweather. And I remember thinking to myself, I was so angry, I was so angry. And I was like, you know what, they're my weight. Like, what if, what if I fought Mayweather? Like, could I beat him? Like, I, lit I literally, was, these are the thoughts going through my mind. I was so angry with that result. And later, I, you know, come to find out, you know, my grandfather in the Philippines was a boxer. My father liked boxing. And when I had ACL surgery twice, and many surgeries like all around my body. Um, but I thought, you know, if I did boxing, whenever my body's healthy, it would eliminate any possibility of me tearing my knee. Cause it's not, it's not relying on that kind of like athleticism and risk of injury. Um, so really, if you do the proper physical therapy, you'll be okay. So I was like, when I'm, he when I'm healed, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give boxing a go. I wanna still commit to being an athlete. And boxing was the one sport, you know, grandfather was a boxer, and I really wanted to see um, if I could do something, I mean, with boxing, and maybe, you know, beat the next Mayweather. Uh, I came back here with four, four fights in the Philippines and trained in the Philippines. Um, I registered as a USA boxing athlete, um, so I can compete in the amateur boxing here. Um, and as I drive, um, I register for events and fights wherever it is in the nation, usually Florida or Las Vegas. As I'm driving, I'm dieting, I'm doing some workouts, but I'm mainly focusing on technique. The shadow boxing, I limit it to only the things that I uh, ironed out the last sessions of when I had a coach. So say when I was in the Mayweather gym in Las Vegas, and I trained there and I had uh, Jeff Mayweather and Crystal Thomas um, and other trainers um, and they would, they would tell me the techniques and I burn it into my memory. I'm thinking of how I could execute these techniques and then I make videos and I watch myself. So it's not about just doing the motion for a workout, it's about perfecting the craft. When you become a boxer, the typical way they want you to start out is you train under the coach and you'll train for months, if not a year, before you even start to spar, before you even start to get a, your first amateur match. I'll tell you this, uh, I sparred a heavyweight. The first day I had my first boxing lesson in January and my first match was in March. And I did all of that by myself. I didn't have anybody like guiding me or like, like telling me what to do. In Las Vegas, I finally trained at the Mayweather gym for a week straight. I showed up every single day and I stayed from when they were open to their clothes. And I made um, good connections with the coaches. They, I trained with like four different coaches and I had two of their coaches show up for me at the, at the fight. And that, I, I finally had you know, the most support. I, you know, because I felt like I was finally like becoming a part of a, a team. I don't have a winning record, but eight fights in less than six months and I just started. You know, like I, I feel like, you know, that, yeah, and in two countries. I was away from social media for like two, three years, and I was like, if I'm gonna do this, I wanna do it, and I want it to show what I'm passionate about and highlight like my development as a person and what I'm doing. I was like, I'm gonna call it the University of Boxing. I view this as I'm entering into another college, right? I just enrolled in, in the sweet science, right? So, now that I'm in the sweet side, like I need to learn, you know, how am I going to, you know, where am I taking my classes, so to say. But I think that people can benefit from seeing how I learn and how I like research and how I grow and develop as a boxer. So I'm not the professor in the University of Boxing. I'm the student and I'm, I'm coming at it from a perspective of how do I grow?
and maybe someone else can see how I'm growing and it'll benefit them in their journey as well. And I feel as if, you know, reaching a height of a gold medal in the Olympics then unlocks the next door, which is aiming for the world title in the professional.